the guy was like, which one of your parents are white, your mom or your dad? And I was like, excuse me? And he's like, well, you can't just be black. I mean, I see the hair, but you can't be just black because you have manners and you're articulate. You go in the back, you suck it up, just feed them and get out of here. Just make their drinks and get them out of here. this one situation it was pretty bad and the customer told me to take my mask down and if they didn't then I wouldn't be able to eat tonight and I'm like so the customer already knows that they dictate how much we walk home with I've been grabbed inappropriately I've been told dirty all sorts of things like phone numbers instead of tips and things like that managers like when you talk to them usually will say like you should be flattered I've been catcalled I've had married men ask me for my number. I have been touched before. You just have to keep going, and the abuse becomes normal after a while. They're used to, okay, I might get touched on the day just because, like, they feel like they can, and I feel like I have to because that's how I'm getting paid. pick up the weekend shifts, you pick up the night shifts. You can maybe make $20 an hour per se, that's with the tips. But if I just take weekdays, probably not up to $10 an hour. On a week to week, I expect to make at least half of my rent in order to survive. And for the last four weeks, I haven't been able to even come close to that. I'm still scratching, trying to grasp at straws to figure out how I, I'm gonna make it. My week to week is completely in the air. I don't know what to expect. Nadie de los que trabajamos en esta área restaurantera no tenemos control de nuestras propinas. I'm fighting for one fair wage because I believe that us service workers should not have to put our wages on the customer. The customer should not have to dictate how much we're walking home with in our pockets each day. Obviously my employees are already making one fair wage, so they're fine. But for me as an owner, that means that there are more people who can actually afford to patronize my business. That means people have more purchasing power, they can spend money, it's better for the economy overall, it's better for people who own businesses, because now people can afford to buy what you sell. Every server in Barton, New York fears for the slow season in the winter because it's truly devastating. You don't know how much you'll get. Having a national minimum wage up to $15, it would help greatly in not worried so much about a slow season. I just want to live a normal life and not feel like pressured every day and like the abuse that you might take from customers or the things that you just have to suck it up because these people are the people who are tipping you and they decide how much money you go home with. <laughs>